Number 10. Astronomers have reported the discovery of RZ Piscium, a star that undergoes unusual dimming events by as much as 10 times its brightness. It is located in the constellation Pisces 550 light years from Earth. Large amounts of infrared radiation are also being emitted from the star, further suggesting large clouds of gas and dust may be blocking the star, possibly from a disrupted planet planet that has been disrupted or destroyed by a nearby or passing astronomical body or object such as a star. Another theory is that these could be planet forming disks, but stars usually do not keep these for more than the first few million years of its life. It is roughly the same temperature as the sun at 5600 K, but 1000 times more x-rays making it relatively young and little lithium suggesting it to be between 30 and 50 million years old, making it too old to have planet forming disks and producing planets, but rather maybe consuming them. RZ Piscium was studied using the XMM Newton satellite, the Shane 3 meter telescope at Lick Observatory in California, and the 10 meter Keck Eye telescope at WM Keck Observatory in Hawaii. Number nine. ULAS J1342 plus 0928 is a quasar in the Bootes constellation 13.1 billion light years from Earth, found to be the most distant known quasar and supermassive black hole. It is at a redshift of Z equals 7.54. The previous record holder was ULAS J1120 plus 0641 at a redshift of 7. The supermassive black hole is 800 million times the mass of the sun. The quasar is from the dark ages of the universe, roughly 690 million years after the Big Bang, being that the light that is observed today on Earth occurred 13.1 billion years ago. It is estimated to have a luminosity of 4 times 10 to the 14th power solar luminosities. This energy output is generated by a supermassive black hole estimated at 8 times 10 to the 8th power solar masses. Number 8. IPTF 14 HLS is the first supernova that has exploded multiple times over 50 years. It is a supernova star, or the last stage of a supermassive star, usually marked by one last titanic explosion. Yet it has erupted continuously for the last three years. It was originally discovered in September 2014 by the Intermediate Palomar Transient Factory and confirmed to be an exploding star in January 2015, when it was presumed to be a supernova event that would dim in 100 days. Instead, it continued to erupt for more than 600 days, changing in brightness at least five times by up to 50%. It hasn't cooled down since the explosions, rather kept a constant temperature of about 5,000 to 6,000 K. After reviewing past photographs, it was discovered that it had also previously exploded in 1954. It has exploded six times since then. IPTF 14 HLS is at least 50 times more massive than our sun. It is as if it is exploding in slow motion with a debris expiation rate of at least a factor of six. Number seven. The discovery of the first measurement of a gamma ray burst was released on July 27, 2017. GRB 160625b was detected by NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and three minutes later by the Large Area Telescope on June 25, 2016, after which a bright optical flash occurred and measurements were taken of its variable linear polarization. It is believed to be from a black hole in the Delphinus constellation 9 billion light years from Earth. Gamma ray bursts are extremely energetic explosions that are thought to be released during a supernova or hypernova, when a massive rapidly rotating star collapses to form a neutron star, quark star, or black hole. A GRB can release as much energy in a few seconds as the sun does throughout its entire lifetime. The GRB's rays were only detected because its rays were pointed right towards Earth and the telescopes were able to respond immediately. Number 6. 
In December of 2017, scientists reported the discovery of Kepel 90i, a super-Earth exoplanet in the Kepel 90 solar system, making it the most exoplanets found to be orbiting an extrasolar star. It has a radius of 1.32 Earths, suggesting it to be small enough to be rocky, orbiting its host star every 14.45 days. It is located in the Draco galaxy, 2,545 light years from Earth. With its close proximity to its star, it would be too hot to be habitable, with temperatures similar to Venus. The other planets were first discovered in 2009 by NASA's Kepler spacecraft as it was searching for planets on distant solar systems. Kepler 90i's discovery was made possible with a new class of machine learning algorithms known as deep learning. Number 5. Astronomers have discovered a hot Jupiter-sized planet named NGTS-1b, orbiting a small red dwarf star half the size of our star every 2.65 days. NGTS-1 is located in the Columba constellation 600 light-years from Earth. Daniel Bayliss of the University of Warwick and lead author of the study describing the discovery of NGTS-1b stated, The discovery of NGTS-1b was a complete surprise to us. Such massive planets were not thought to exist around such small stars. Importantly, our challenge is now to find out how common these types of planets are in the galaxy, and with the new Next Generation Transit Survey Facility, we are well placed to do just that. Number 4 In July of 2017, it was announced the discovery of EBLM J0555-57AB, the smallest star known to sustain fusion. It is located in the Pictor constellation in a triple star system 600 light years from Earth and orbits its star every 7.8 days. The system contains two Earth like stars that are gravitationally bound. EBLM J0555 57 AA and EBLM J0555 57 B and EBLM J0555 57 AB which is only slightly larger than Saturn. It was detected by scientists at the University of Cambridge in the EBLM, Eclipsing Binary Low Mass Project. Number 3 Scientists have produced the most detailed image of a star to date, the Antares star in the Scorpius constellation. The image was created using ESO's Very Large Telescope in Chile to create a map of surface motion on the star the first other than our sun. Antares is a red supergiant and the 15th brightest star in the night sky, and has a reddish tint when looked at with the naked eye. The Very Large Telescope Interferometer combines light from up to four telescopes to create a virtual telescope 200 meters across, allowing for much greater detail than one telescope could. The VLTI, along with an instrument called AMBER, were used to create images of Antares in different infrared wavelengths, which resulted in a map of relative speed of gas over the whole star. Number 2 WASP-12b is found to be the first exoplanet with a stratosphere, which is an atmospheric layer in which temperatures increase as the altitude increases. WASP-12b is a hot Jupiter, 880 light-years from Earth, in the Puppis constellation. It is 1.18 times more massive than Jupiter and 1.81 times the radius, orbiting its host star approximately the same size as our Sun every 1.27 days. The stratosphere contains hot water molecules and, as evidence suggests, titanium oxide, TiO, and vanadium oxide, VO. The temperature of the upper is 4,530 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to boil some metals. Number 1 In October 2017, astronomers detected the gravitational wave associated with the merger of two neutron stars, named GW170817. 1.7 seconds later, GRB170817 a, a gamma ray burst, was also observed and AT2017-GFO, a visual light event discovered when searching for the evidence of the GW, though there are no confirmations these are the same event. 
The gravitational wave was the results of the final two minutes of two neutron stars spiraling toward one another and merging. What was unique is that unlike previous gravitational wave detections, it was not from the merging of two black holes, and the aftermath was seen by 70 observatories around the world and in space. The GW lasted approximately 100 seconds, giving off intense frequencies. It was first noticed at the Virgo detector in Italy, then 22 milliseconds later at the Lego Livingston detector in Louisiana, and another 3 milliseconds later at the Lego Hanford detector in the state of Washington. 16 seconds later, a gamma ray alert, which triggered a timing near coincidence notice. Then Lego team was notified six minutes later by an automatic alert. 40 minutes later, the LIGO Virgo team then issued an alert to other astronomers with a relative gamma ray position. GW170817 was given the Breakthrough of the Year Award for 2017 by the journal Science. Please like, share, and subscribe for more amazing videos.